Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Create Manchester here on Transport Fever. We are sitting here at Marple and this episode is going to be titled The Great Escape. Reason being, for my own personal lucky escape, um, I was going to record this yesterday and came to it and found, oh, Sibaris' Class 66 is gone. Um, luckily I had them backed up. There is a class 66 remover mod available for people to use which will allow you to delete the offending files and essentially it will put a blue block in as a placeholder. You go, you delete that, you then subscribe to his new class 66s which I haven't looked at them personally. Unfortunately, here we are in 1865 as we start the timer or the calendar, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, um, you install his new improved class 66s in place of the old ones and away you go. Now, um, as I say, Personally, I couldn't get the class 66 remover to work. I'm not sure what the issue was with that particular mod, but I do back up my Transport Fever folder. Probably not as often as I should, I'll be honest. I should really be doing it every single time I go and grab a bunch of mods, or every week. Whatever the case may be, as soon as I've recorded an episode, I should be backing it up. Probably. But, yes, so it is a known issue. I encourage everyone to back up your mods as often as you can. If you don't have room on a hard drive, consider just getting a USB pen drive. 10, 15 pounds. I think it would be probably even go on Wish and if you're prepared to wait a little while get one much cheaper. Whatever it takes just back up your transport fever files. In this case it was a pure accident Sibaris wasn't familiar with deleting or sorry he wasn't familiar with how to update his mods and accidentally deleted them instead so that's how the issue come about so it wasn't his fault he didn't do it on purpose he wasn't doing it to be malicious or anything it was a pure accident and hey we all make accidents from time to time heck look at the last episode of this I spent ages going up and down putting in a route back and forth back and forth and it turns out I hadn't put a piece of track in. I believe it was just, yeah, there. Because as you can see, I've still made a mistake in that I've used the wrong track. So let's come along here. Get our wand. Under tracks. There we go. Let's fix that. We don't have concrete sleepers in 1865. So there we go. Anyway, moving on this episode, I'm going to try and work on getting this route scenic. Working backwards. I'm satisfied with sort of this bit through the trees. I'm going to get some roads in, possibly some buildings. Try and do something about this massive bank down to the river. And yeah, just generally try and work our way back. We can get. Where's our. Where's Brinnington? Wow. Brinnington's right up here. Yeah, so if we can get to Brinnington on the scenery in this episode, I'll call it success. So, with that in mind, let's get on with it. I'll see you after the time lapse. <laughs>
Hello everyone and welcome back. Here we are at Davis Bradbury. It is indeed Bradbury. So not quite as much as I was hoping. I say at the top of this video we were aiming to get back as far as Brinnington with the scenery. And we've got most of the way there. I'm not going to complain about one short stretch. I mean, just throw some trees in. Be fair and be done with it. But we have our roundabout here. Roads are a little bit off. Um, this quarry I've placed in here. This is not actually a quarry in real life. Um, see. Does that? Yes. That does reach that. Um, yeah, I believe this is Bradbury Tarmac, but we're going to use it as a quarry to get our stone. We have a look at our industries. We have a quarry, a farm, a chemical plant. Down at Heat and More, okay. Goods factory, a processing plant, a farm, vehicle recycling. Construction materials at West Gorton. We look, uses either stone or slag, which we now have stone. All we have to do is work out a way of getting that stone up here. Which is doable, and we're not going to be able to pass it up this line necessarily. Look. Our little horse and cart here. Are you carrying anyone? No, you're not. Oh, excitement over. But yeah, we'll work, work out a way of getting our freight in. Right, one thing from last week. No one noticed him. Here is Toby. Did kind of pan past him at the end of last episode. Unfortunately, no one's him. Not going to worry about doing it this week. It was kind of a gimmicky thing, I'll admit. And yeah, it didn't really work for me. I don't think it's working for you guys either. So. We'll forget the whole game of hide the Toby for now. Come along here and we'll look at what we have achieved. So, as I say, we've got our place here at Bradbury. Here is a recycling plant. Now, uh, as you can see from the facts, I've not made this operable. Um, we've got freight coming in here. I don't think that's really necessary, personally. Unless someone makes the dedicated wagons, then, of course, it'd be rude not to use it. But for now, it's fine. Um, there is a car park here. Going at Breadbury. I'm waiting for that to unlock, though. So we have our trees. Please. To say the rivers of kind of gone in the wrong place and mess things up a bit um, there is some building work to go in here if I find time off screen I'll go ahead and do that you guys then we come down here and this is Romilly now I do want oh no I did get some supports in for these bridges great stuff um, do need to uh, Edit those roads slightly so we don't have trees poking through. But I don't think I did much here in the way of roads or anything. It's all pretty much how it should be. Got some fields in at last. Now the LOD on this is a bit small. But as you can see, I've got a lot of double growth going on in there. 
We've got various crops growing. This track, I'm not sure where this one ends up, but it's bearing out there. So we'll start that off. And we'll work on that at a later date. On to Marple. Now here I have used this of course for our car park area. There should be some car parking down here. And there is some buildings to go in here. Oh, I kind of skipped that for now. I do intend to come back. And we have our roads here. There's our little train. Roughing its way from Ashbury's to Brinnington. Well, not really. It's going right off now. We do need to update that. Marple deleted a bit of road there. Kind of need to expand that. But that's not an issue. We can do that. Anyway. Let's jump on board this train I think ah or not don't know if there's a no there isn't ok so the view is broken on that unfortunately we're seeing from this guy's eyes when we would rather see from this guy's eyes we can kind of take a run on down the line with this, get a feel for how things look. Get rid of that off screen. So, um, what's been happening recently? Oh, good old auto save there. Um, I suppose the big news is Grand T. Um, those of you who aren't aware who he is, which I'm sure is almost none of you if you're into transport fever Grand T is a brilliant YouTuber brilliant creator with transport fever unfortunately due to ISP issues and to be fair he's paying them a heck of a lot of money and they're not delivering so for his own kind of well-being he's decided to take a step back and won't be creating any videos for the foreseeable future which is a shame because as I say his quality videos is far surpassed in mine but I completely understand why he's taken that step back and I fully support his decision and should he come back at any point I'll be among the first to welcome him back and a bit of frame rate drop here I have a feeling it's because of these grasses Could be to do with the fact actually that I didn't cache the map. Um, I did have a little game crash. I got a bit carried away with the bulldozer mod and what have you and I think it just had a bit too much. So although I initially cached when I reloaded in I forgot to do that so that may help account for our low FPS which is hovering around 7 or 8 FPS at the moment which isn't good considering how much we've got to go on this map well, hey, hey. Oh. the shunty shunty there by train heading off again Still no passengers, I don't think. Although, to be fair, I don't think many of the stations along this route actually serve communities, so 
That's fair. Start making our way around. Gonna leave that there. Have to get rid of that tree. Possibly that tree. Do a little bit of trimming as we go. That one. Do that one. That one. So yeah, that's pretty much where we're at at the moment. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. If there is anything you'd like to suggest. Anything you think, oh, you haven't quite done that right, Nick. Can you go back and do such and such? Please, by all means, drop your suggestions in the comments below. I'm always open to constructive criticism. If you just come out with, oh, that sucks, with no reason why, you probably won't get a reply in all honesty, but if you say, oh, I think you've done wrong there, maybe try to do it this way. Have you seen this mod, such as Julie did with the bulldozer mod? Then I'm all ears, and yeah, I'm, I'm not perfect by any means. There's many things I can do to improve, and with your help and advice, I can do that, such as this bridge. That needs taking out and a better one putting in there. But hey ho, I think that's going to be it for this episode. As I did mention in the Railroad Corporation video, if you haven't already seen that, um, I am having to knock that series on the head for the time being purely because I do have some personal issues not with myself but with a member of my family that do need sort of to take precedence and yeah that's my priority I am going to try and keep these videos coming out on every Sunday evening Apologies in advance if I do slip on that, though so I will say it, if it happens, it's for a very good reason. Please bear with me, I will be back. So that being said, I'm going to call that one done. Thank you guys very much once again for watching. Hit the like, subscribe buttons, comment down below. You have any suggestions ideas anything good like that maybe you have something you'd like to show me some kind of inspiration that you think will help with this series or just your own creations I'm always happy to look at those but yeah pop that all down below and I'll take a look when I can anyway this is gonna be it for this video like I say, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.